This is your local utility provider. Your bill is past due and you must pay it now in order to stop the disconnection of your service. All you need to do is provide me with your credit card or debit card number and your service will remain on. Okay. I'm Vernon Keenan, the director of the Georgia Bureau Investigation. And one of the top priorities for the GBI is the investigation and prosecution of persons who commit crimes against older Americans. And the GBI has agents which are specifically trained in investigating these type crimes. We also do a lot of training for local law enforcement agencies so that they were in a position to also conduct these cases. It's estimated that annually across the United States, older Americans are victimized to the extent of over $36 billion of financial exploitation. The exact extent of the exploitation is unknown because many of these crimes go unreported. They go unreported because the, vi the victim themselves may not understand that what has occurred with the financial exploitation or when they discover that they have been a victim of financial exploitation, they're too embarrassed to report it to the authorities. It is important that older Americans understand that they are targeted for their finances and they must always be on guard to ensure that they are not victimized. And the scams that the older Americans are subjected to are various. Some of the most common that are occurring in the state of Georgia involve the older American receiving a telephone call purportedly from the IRS or another government agency demanding that they make payment for a past bill, unpaid taxes, a traffic ticket, or whatever. And that they must give, must give a credit card number and settle this debt or they're going to be arrested and prosecuted. These are scams. There is no government agency which is going to call up an older American and demand that they provide their credit card information or other personal, inf other personal information. It's important that an older American, whenever they are contacted by someone seeking to obtain their personal information or financial information, that they understand that this is a scam. If they have any doubt of what is occurring, they should go to a trusted family member or call the authorities and at seek advice. This is, this is important to process to keep an older American from becoming a victim of financial fraud. The most important thing that an older Georgian can do to protect themselves from financial exploitation is to never, ever give their financial information or their personal data to an unknown person. The, the, if an older Georgian has a concern or a question about what is occurring with someone asking for this type of information, they should go to a trusted family member or a trusted neighbor, uh, a church member, and ask for guidance. 